Hi everyone, welcome to Creating with Wendy. The other day I was just having a quick tidy up, not that I've tidied up much because I got distracted. <laughs> I, um, I was, because I had my envelopes in all different spots, I decided to collate them and just put them in this container so look at this look how many envelopes I've got in here a lot of these were given to me by a neighbor and I haven't really done anything with them and I think it's about time that I do so I've got all those in there but I've also got these ones down here that when I coffee dye I I grab a few envelopes out when I coffee dye my papers I grab a few envelopes out to coffee dye at the same time too so I've got a stash of coffee dyed ones I'll just move this out of the road now and I thought I wanted to just come on and make something with the envelopes um, I don't think I'm going to need all of those but I have got quite a few of them that I'm going to be using so and I also um, I've also got some papers here mainly just black and white um, that's not really black and white is it but I like that paper <laughs> um, these ones here are just mainly black and white papers that I've had for a while. I got these ones from one of our op shops in a packet. That's pretty cool, isn't it? And they're only one-sided and they're nice and thin, which I thought would be nice to cover an envelope journal. Okay, so I've got those as well. And just put them there on the floor of course on the floor Wendy <laughs> okay so what I thought I don't want those yet either what I thought I'd do I've had this for quite a while this is like a um, a sample journal that I made about oh, six or eight months ago I like just putting together things um, that have inspired me from watching YouTube channels. Now this one is from, I should write the name down on the on the thing that I make, um, this one is from Eve, um, oh dear come on Wendy, 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 Eve, I'll look, I'll look it up, hopefully I can look it up. Um, but this is from Eve something on Facebook and she was making an envelope journal using envelopes so the the base of it is all envelopes and then you've got more envelopes in here made into pockets you've got a signature um, this was an envelope here uh, she had an envelope here too but uh, or a piece of cardboard but I just used a large index card and an envelope here with like a little flip book thing a little journaling part one of these envelopes the CD envelopes um, these are envelopes that I've cut down and then we have some more another signature for journaling a pocket here now this isn't hasn't been made the, to my best make did you understand that <laughs> I kind of like just threw this together so I didn't have a lot of um, papers around me I had mainly the envelopes so um, that's why it's not it's just really plain and boring and what have you there's another signature there and the back page is an envelope too so it's got one two three and the signatures I have sewn in 
um, straight there and straight through to the other side of the envelope base. So that's what I thought I'd make today. One of these, but I'd make it pretty and jazz it up a bit. And I thought you might like to um, create along with me. Okay, so that's a bit of extra paper. What you will need is five envelopes. Now you can use any size envelope you like um, or if you don't have envelopes you could always use uh, just some cardboard. So I've got five envelopes and the size of my envelopes are 13.5 centimeters by 18.5 centimeters which is roughly five and a quarter by seven and a quarter okay so I've got five all the same size then also you're going to need one piece of say a thin cardboard um, this is to join the front part with the back part and this so the size of mine is um, the same length as your envelope roughly this was a, a scrap piece so mine's actually a little bit smaller and that is 18 centimeters by 12.7 which is about seven and a quarter by five inches and then you're going to need three little signatures I have got three pages in each of mine and the signature size is when they're folded in half it is 12.5 centimeters by 18 centimeters which is roughly about five inches and seven and one eighth of an inch okay so that's what you need just to put the base of it together um, so and it's just so simple so I'm going to start with these two envelopes and that's going to be my front okay and all you have to do is just open that up and slip that one in there just nice nicely if I can get that end in okay now if you're if you don't want to sew um, a signature is going to go in here okay and if you don't want to sew it it might be a good idea to put a little bit of glue just to tack that envelope together it all depends how you want to put your signatures in but I think sewing is the best way to go whether it's hand sewing or machine stitching okay so you've got one in there like that and you're going to need that one's a bit crinkly you're going to need another envelope uh, these ones here are my coffee dyed ones too and you're just going to slip that one in there as well okay so it's just nicely up on that folded pre-folded edge okay so there's your first part of the journal now your second part of the journal we're just going to do exactly the same just slip one envelope into that opening there of that envelope okay and just get it up nice and firm okay so that's what you're going to end up with now then from there you grab your your piece of um, thin cardboard and I think I told you what this was I'll just say it again this is 18 centimeters by 12.7 which is roughly seven and a quarter by five uh, seven and a quarter by five inches okay so before we join the front and the back of the journal together we're going to take one of our three page signatures and we're going to sew it into the center of this okay so you've got your joining um, cardboard there 
I'm just going to quickly do a machine stitch all the way down there. Did I say quickly? I haven't even got my machine plugged in. <laughs> oh dear. Now I've decided to to make this start to finish. Okay, we're plugged in now. I have actually decided to make this start to finish and not get halfway through it and throw it on my floor. Okay, I'll just move that out of the road. So, um, all I'm going to do, what I normally do, when I want to sew on, use the machine to sew the centre of, down the centre fold, what I normally do is just ink up that fold and that just allows me to see the line properly okay so open that up okay so it's like drawing a line down for the down the center okay and I'm going to put that on there and just line it up and I'm just going to quickly do a stitch down the center so I can easily see that my machine it's going to I hope I keep that straight okay we'll see anyway all right okay that wasn't too bad that stitching wasn't too bad for me <laughs> Considering I've done it on an angle and there's so much stuff around here. Okay, so I've got that down. I've got my signature in my joining cardboard. So what I want to do now is join the front and the back with this part here and that has the signature. So I'm just going to put some glue on here. Okay, and I'm going to line that up right along the edge of the front part of the journal so that it's nice and straight. Okay, so I'll give that a bit of a press down. Okay, so that has joined the front front part of the journal there. Okay, now before before I join the back part on to here, I'm actually going to sew these signatures in as well so that one goes there and then I'm going to have this one here so I'm just going to do the same just fold that over and just put an ink line down there it's just so that I can see where I'm stitching I can follow that ink line so that one's going to go in that one there and this signature is going to go further at the front of the book. So just fold that over. Now there is, with this journal, there is a little bit of pre-thinking as well. Um, for to decorate the pages so that's the that's going to be that's the front that's the inside one and I'm going to I think I'm going to put it here 
this signature just there okay so I'm going to quickly sew that together which I should have sewed it together before I put this part on but that's okay I'm just doing it a little bit back to front but I hope you understood that look if you don't understand what I'm saying at any time you can always just send me leave me a message and I will get back to you so I'm going to sew that down there And I just hope I didn't catch, no I didn't see, um, I didn't catch that other signature I joined that onto there, which was good. So, okay, so the way to go would, see I didn't start the forward thinking, did I? Um, the way to go, once you've got your envelopes put together, then sew your signatures in. So you've got that there and see when you've sewn that these envelopes aren't going to come out either okay so there's that I might just put a bit more glue on that that's mainly just to hold it down until you decorate that page and then you've got this signature here and I will sew I will just stitch down this one here to get that all in, okay, that's straight. Okay, and I've got that one, I've got those pages sewn into that signature, those envelopes there. So that is the, the last signature. Okay, now this is where kind of like the pre-thinking comes in. Uh, with this flap here, we're going to actually join it onto this envelope, uh, this back part. But... I want this, the top of this envelope here to actually be decorated before I glue this down here because I'm going to have this as a pocket. So what I might do is grab um, my circle punch, which is somewhere just here in front of me, there it is. Um, I've just got a, a one inch circle punch so what I'm going to do is just cut a little thumb notch out of here just like that and that's going to show me that I want a pocket there okay now I want I do want to decorate this and I'm doing it in like the black and white theme okay um, so with my with your pre-thinking I want to actually cover this page this top part of the envelope there uh, before I join this here like that before I put some glue up there and down and down there because I want this the top of this decorated underneath my pocket okay so I have got, I've got one of the off-cut scraps of my paper. It is a little bit shorter than the um, length of my envelope, but that's okay. I'm still going to use it because I can um, just ink the edge up there. So with this page here, um, instead of marking it and cutting it there, I'm actually going to fold this over. So I'm just going to line it up down the bottom here and get it straight. And then 
just fold that over there because this is actually going to be a flap for the other side of my of my envelope okay so that looks a little bit crooked does it okay that'll do okay and now I can mark it just up here I'm going to just mark it a bit shorter than what I normally would because I don't want it completely covered that page this is going to be like a little a little tip in flat page okay so it's going to sit there and it's going to fold over like that and I think that looks pretty good doesn't it looks pretty straight everywhere yep it does okay so I am going to glue this down on this side here and just using my my glue stick okay so now we can just fold make sure it's straight it's a bit, a bit low down there I think okay that looks about right okay so we can glue that down there okay and that looks right there too I'll just press that down a bit better right so that is going to be like an extra flap in your journal just there and that gets folded there okay and I'll just put a tad more glue just down here so that I know it's stuck properly and up here right okay so now we can actually glue our pocket on to the back part of our journal okay right so with this I am going to use just a PVA glue make sure that's got no crusties on it right and for this I'm just going to put it <coughs> pardon me there at the top and at the bottom and then along that long larger side because you don't want anything falling out through your pocket okay just some glue down there and glue down there okay so then we line them up like that and just press that down there 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 make sure we just turn it over it's all nice and straight down there along along the spine okay and might just give that an extra press down there okay so then you've got a nice pocket there okay look at that and then with this last part here you could actually leave that opened and where's another um, say that was a signature in your book you could leave that open and in one of your journals and you could use that to attach this little journal inside like one of your your larger journals if you wanted to okay but I'm going to do this as a 
separate journal so with this little flap here I'm just going to glue it up onto the back of that envelope okay right and that just gets put there okay and guys that that's it for the base of your journal uh, you've got your front cover you've got your inside there you have your your first little signature there you've got that one there you've got another one here um, you've got the joining for the middle signature here and you've got the pocket on this side there you open that up you've got um, I really need to get a new blade. I've got little fluff bunnies on there. You've got this one here that opens out like that and we're going to decorate all this as well. Then you've got your third signature and you've got your back page. How easy is that? That is so cool. I like it. I like it. Okay, so... Um, this is where I'm actually going to end this video because I don't want the videos to be too long for you and the second video the second part is we're going to add we're going to add a few little extra envelope pockets um, and tuck spots and little journaling places and an envelope with a little uh, scrappy notepad there a CD I don't think I'm going to add these ones here I might add something a bit different um, the CD and uh, see that's that pocket that we just made then with the little flap out um, and we're going to start decorating it so for the next video it might be a good idea for you to grab out your decorative papers so that the with our pre-thinking you need your decorative papers um, before you put some of these pockets down or when you put them down um, like this one here I've just got music sheet which is quite all right to use or you could use some um, scrap textbook paper or just your pattern papers that you've got um, you need to put this down here before you add this little tuck spot there the index card tuck spot and the same over here we've got another I've got an envelope here that I just decorated in um, I think that's a dictionary dictionary paper and that's put in underneath the front cover there okay so for the, the page sizes I don't actually think I wrote those down um, I will just measure it now uh, this is only if you're using the same size envelopes as me so your page size sizes are roughly going to be 13 I'll just write this down page size page size will roughly be you want to leave a little bit of a a gap so let's say is that got inches on it it has two okay so the page size are going to be five inches by We'll say seven and one eighth or seven. Five by seven inches, which is which is about eighteen centimeters by five is about twelve um no more thirteen. 13 centimeters we'll say 
Okay, so that's the page sizes there. If you're doing the same size journal um, as what I'm doing. So, you know, you can just get your pages ready and then we'll be ready to... And another couple of envelopes. I think you'll need um, a CD envelope if you've got one. Um, another smaller envelope. Uh, that's another, that's a small long envelope. Um, this one here is one of one of these envelopes here in Australia. You can see the that one there. So you'll need one of those and a smaller envelope which is, I've only got those ones there, but that's okay. So you'll need a couple of those. A um, couple of those smaller envelopes. Or any decorative envelopes you've got. And a CD envelope, which I don't know if I've got another one of those. I will have to check. But you can use any envelopes you like, guys. Okay, so that's it. I saw... Sh I... Oh, blah, blah, blah. Gosh, I hope you've seen that all right. I shall see you for part two. Okay, bye.